Good day, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Channel 18, WPAA here in Wallingford. My name is uh, Edward McCarver, and we've got a, uh, actually we've got a delightful 30 minutes uh, in store for you. Uh, as you can probably see from the logo behind me, there is an event coming up in Wallingford on August 11th, 12th, and 13th at Lyman Hall High School. It is the Willy Wonka play, Willy Wonka uh, and the Chocolate Family. Uh, let me get a quick plug in first. Tickets are available at uh, Amici Salon, Gallagher Travel Shop, uh, Jeremiah Farms, and uh, also online at brownpapertickets.com. And we'll be talking about that probably, uh, probably several times in the half hour. Uh, I want to introduce uh, a good friend of ours, probably needs no introduction. She's probably been on this network more than I have. <laughs> but she is the executive director and founder of the Wallingford <coughs> Center for the Arts. She holds a bachelor's degree in theater with major concentrations in music education and music performance. She has more than 30 years of acting and directing experience in college, community, and industry circles. And she's only 37 years old, so, <laughs> so please welcome uh, a good friend, uh, Mary Ellen Eccles. Hi, Hi. Hi Thank Ed. Thanks for having us. So we have, uh, we have other, as you mentioned, cast. Actually, we, sh we should introduce them now, other uh, yes. <laughs> members of the Willy Wonka family family, if uh, you want to do the honors, Mary Ellen? Well, we have Megan Shortell, who is my absolute right hand. She's on staff with us. And Megan is, um, well, to say she's our stage manager and choreographer sells her short. She is, she is also producer. She helps with everything and anything. And um, we, we wouldn't be here without her. And then we have Megan Barilero, who plays the part of Charlie in uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And yes, our Charlie is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Max Blumenstock, who plays the part of Mike TV. And the kids are doing an amazing job. As are you, because I would like to introduce you to <laughs> Edna Carver, who plays Grandpa Joe. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And, and I'm having uh, a lot of fun. Uh, and I, I don't want to make this about, about Grandpa Joe, but um, I want to give credit to uh, Mike Trzinski, who's also yes. in the play as, uh, as the Candyman. Uh, last year for uh, Happy Days, I, I guess uh, they, they couldn't get an Arnold, is, is, I understand. We had an something. Arnold and then, and then he got a job. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So Mike, uh, Mike asked me if I'd be interested in, and of course I know you, and I said, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And I, I fell in love oh, with it, and, and now, you're a natural. now you can't get rid of me. So, no, so, we so hope it's you a don't. lot of fun. Uh, let, talk first about the theater. Um, it started when you formed the Wallingford Center for the Arts years ago, and then the theater right. just evolved from that? <coughs> well, we always knew we would start with a theater piece. And that's where our main uh, focus and priority has been. So that's, um, this is our ninth year, and we'll be celebrating our 10th next year. So we're already planning that and working on that. Did it go by quickly? Oh, it did. <laughs> it did. <laughs> and yet, they've all grown up. And we have stayed <laughs> <laughs> Now, in the past, you've done The King and I, Peter Pan, uh, Happy Days, Grease, and, and Willy Wonka. How do you decide on what play? What's, what's that process? For you? Well, when we're talking about the summer show, uh, Megan and I always get together for lunch. And that's where we begin. But we're always, all of us, we have a fabulous team. We have Dave Stein, who's our set designer and he's also on the board and we have board members and and we we all talk we get together um matt um bennett who's gosh matt does everything he's a fabulous actor he's um tech director many times and we think about in the summer about how many people can have fun with this with us because when you audition in the summer, if you want to be a part of it, you want to put in the hard work, you're a part of it. We don't cut from auditions. We just, you know, use the auditions to decide who, um, who would shine best where. So that we're always looking for um, a script that is fun, is great, is family-oriented, because we have very young children in the cast as well as in the audience. And um, we want to make sure it's, it's enjoyable for everybody. Um, where the repertory is, is probably more geared toward adults. 
I, I wanted to talk briefly. I think the last time you were on this network uh, was for Brighton Beach Memoirs, and you mentioned Matt Bennett, who had a role in that play and did phenomenal. Amazing. Give us the quick recap on Brighton Beach. Oh, uh, my gosh. Run. Wow. Well, we, we sold out. We added more tickets and sold out again. Um, thanks to the generosity of, of Joe Gouveia, we built a stage in the old children's library. And um, it's, it's a, we always choose an adult comedy or show. The first one was The Straw, which Eugene O'Neill wrote about Wallingford. And um, last year was Brighton Beach Memoirs. We promised Joe a comedy, and there's no comedy like Neil Simon. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so now we're, we're trying to decide. And we also have coming up our Wallingford's 350th celebration, of which I'm very honored that they've asked me to um, take the arts and the production for that. Nice. But we're doing a five-year plan. So we're going to be looking at that and how to tie it in to the town's history and where we've come from and where we're going um, in both, both sets of productions. So there will always be a, kind of a little bit look to that. Nice. Yeah. We're talking with uh, Mary Ellen Eccles. We're talking about uh, Willy Wonka to be at Lyman Hall High School August 11th and 12th and 13th. Showtime is at uh, 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $15 for adults, $10 for children. I wanted to ask Megan Shortell, and I don't know how she does it. She's the <laughs> stage manager and she's choreography. She's amazing. <laughs> how many Oompa Loompas do you have to corral? <laughs> <laughs> What's a, what's a tip? First, how many, and, and tell us what that process is like. Uh, feels like hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have about fifty. Yeah, uh, something like that. Something like that, and um, I couldn't do it without the help of our interns and training. One right. of the great things about our theater is it's really about the mentoring process, and we do have wonderful high schoolers who have dedicated uh, their time to attending the children's rehearsals getting to know the children, mm. getting to mentor them so that, you know, in those early weeks when you're a little bit afraid to leave mom when you're five, six, seven, eight years old still and trying to make friends, we have these high schoolers who jump right in, take them by the hand, and really help me in that process. So that's always a blessing because backstage will get, <laughs> we'll get crazy. <laughs> so it's wonderful to have those interns and in training ready where I can then delegate and say, okay, we're ready for, you know, the Augustus Gloop Oompa Loompas, get them ready. So I think it's really about organization and right from the start, getting them to know their, their peer mentors. Mm. And then you, you had many young children. I think it was there 200 for Happy Days last year? Something like that. Oh, we had a and lot of children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And what was and that experience uh, went well? Oh, ab absolutely. I mean, they, they had a lot of fun with it, especially since Happy Days was more for the youth and mm. adults, a lot of youth and adult parts. Mm. And yet we, you know, we were able to create an ensemble piece that they loved and we gave them the skills and the opportunity for many, you know, first time performers. Mm. And now we're doing Willy Wonka and this one, we have the youth and adult parts, but we're really showcasing our children acting yeah. and our children youth and giving them those skills yeah. and they're having a ball. So. Now, do they audition to dance, or you just uh, just put them through their paces? And you have some older children that, that, uh, that dance. We do have dance auditions, and dance auditions are open to everyone. So if you would like to audition, you certainly can. And then based on uh, their level and skill, that, that would determine their placement. Sometimes, you know, we've had years where they're just too young, especially with Beauty and the Beast. That was a big production where uh, lots of kids for that show, but some just couldn't handle some of the choreography. So once they audition, I place them where appropriate. Very good. We're talking with uh, Megan Shortell, Mary Ellen Nichols for Willy Wonka. Again, appearing at uh, Lyman Hall High School, August 11th and 12th and 13th. That's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Curtain goes up at 7:30 if, uh, if yes. memory serves. So yes. uh, good seats are still available. I understand. Yes, but, but they're going fast. Yeah, which is, that which eyeline is. Uh, brown paper tickets really moves. Nice, nice. So and they can also buy tickets through the cast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. So uh, now let's uh, focus our attention on a couple of the uh, younger uh, <laughs> performers we have here. And we have two of them, um, Megan Barolero and Max Blumenstock. And I'll, I'll ask you first, Megan, and then um, if you don't like her answer, Max, you can, you can give, give yours. <laughs> but, um, 
Thanks. Nick. You play uh, actually the Charlie Bucket role, but I think in a couple of cases you'll be referred to as Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get started in, in community theater? Um, well, I'm friends with a bunch of the dancers as I dance with them at my dance studio, and they were like, "Hey, you should come and do this." So I just literally went, auditioned, and I fell in love with the community theater. And I've been with them, I think, for the past five years since Barnum. So. Okay. Okay. Now, is this your first? This I is my first major role. Or yeah. Well, I've been in the chorus and I've been a dancer for the past four years, but this is my first like lead role. Okay. Okay. And Max, give us your story, young man. Well, I joined the Wallingford Community Theater because I just heard of it. Well, my mom heard of it one day. She told me about it. I thought, well, maybe I should do it. I went and auditioned. I did well, and then I got Beauty and the and then I got we did Beauty and the Beast, even though we we're supposed to do Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got Chips. So I thought, man, I'm gonna stay with this theater because they're a bunch of good people with good ideas and great, making the summer a fun experience for me. Good for you, good for you. You have a fine future in the media. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that right here. Even though it's it's known as Wallingford Community Theater, yes. uh, you do not necessarily have to be a resident of Wallingford. Can can you talk a bit? A bit sure. About that? We're, we get um, surrounding communities very often. Well, because we post statewide for our auditions, um, and we very often we have uh, I think our furthest we have a young woman who comes from Southington, somebody from Prospect. But that's not unusual. We usually get a, a few, quite a few from Meriden come. Um, I would say the majority is Wallingford. Mm -hmm. but, so so but we get a lot from surrounding communities. Okay, and we're, and we're that's got to be it. gratifying. To yeah, you know, we're, we're, the world really is one big community, and we certainly should be good neighbors to, to our surrounding communities, I think. Megan, the short tell had mentioned before, and I wanted you to, to, to speak to it. The, uh, the mentoring experience, and even though I, you know, this is only my second year, but I can see some of the older actors helping out the, the younger actors and, and coaching them a lot. And I have to say, last year, Matt Bennett was great to me yeah, as far as yeah. mentoring this yes. over-the-hill gentleman who doesn't know <laughs> what he was doing is, is Arnold. Matt was, Matt was awesome. And just but for your audience, he is knocking it out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see him. He's fabulous. The checks in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> But, but talk a bit about, about that mentoring part. The mentoring part, I think, is, is very, very important. I want everyone, regardless of, of any barrier, um, to feel welcome. And part of that is feeling comfortable with what you're doing. And this is a very risky thing to do. It's, it's something that you, everybody has to take a deep breath and jump into the water kind of thing. And it's like out of your comfort zone for Absolutely, but it's a great way to grow. And it's a great way, we're very much about teaching life skills through the arts, and that's a big piece of our mission. We also want to be a place for people to come. Um, some people come to heal, some people um, come just for fun and recreation. Um, we all have a different walk in, in this world, and we want to make sure that um, it's a welcoming and capable place for that. So the mentoring fits in very nicely. I certainly would not be where, you know, be able to do what I do today without the wonderful mentors in my life. You know, I always talk about the dream team yeah. at Lyman Hall, Mr. Crump and Mr. V, and Ronnie Granucci and Marion Lacey. They're my dream team. And legends. They, they are legends, and they, they taught me so much about life as well as the arts. Um, and we want that. And this year we started a brand new program. We've always had college interns. Um, and sometimes the interns um, actually come on staff. Megan was an intern when she first oh. began. And um, so was Matt. And this year <coughs> we started the uh, interns in, pro in training program where if they're in high school and they've really been contributing, um, we invite them to become an intern in training wonderful young woman who's working right now in your, your sound booth there, Miss Elena Rivers, is one of our interns in training. She's amazing. Um, so she, uh, she and the others um, get our mission. They understand who we are. They know it's not about divas and the spotlight. And you know, it's about being professional. It's about really learning the arts and the skills that it takes to do a professional performance. And they also know it's about 
the life skills about socialization and, 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 and building a life and learning to work as a team. Um, so we started that because our hope is that as they train through their high school years, when they go off to college, they'll come back as interns. Um, and that seems to be working really well. But we have mentors on every single level. We have, we have a little five-year-old who mentored a four-year-old the other day. <laughs> she was, I really, she was scared to death. Um, her big sister left to go on the stage and she was sitting there crying across the room and the little five-year-old who's been with us, her mom is in Theatre Victoria, so Lorelai got up, she's been with us since she was an infant, just coming to rehearsals. She got up and walked over and took her by the hand and said, come sit with me. That's mentoring. Nice. I mean, that's beautiful. You know, Caitlin White, she's another, there's so many. Every child, I hope, and I see all the time, really grow as people. And the, and the kind of people that um, learn who they are and what gifts they have to bring to the table and how to share them, how to be part of a community, how to be a good neighbor. I, I wanted to ask, and I don't know, if Megan or, or Mary Ellen, if you wanted to answer this, but the age range for the performers in Willy Wonka, I know the youngest is four. Four. And I have it on good authority that the oldest is 66. Uh, <laughs> can, can you talk a bit about the different uh, divisions in, in the theater group and what's involved with sure. the dance or, or with, the, with the actors? Sure, so we have uh, the children's division, which is um, grade-wise, it is up till fifth grade. And then you can determine if you're going to go into the youth division, and uh, that's throughout high school. And then we have the adult division. So we really, um, we're not a theater that, you know, believes in having children playing adult, adult roles if it, doesn't, if it doesn't suit them. That's why we, we cater to each division so we can authentically tell our stories the best way that we can. And um, again, that just supports our mission and supports a sense of community. And it really delivers that mentoring program on all levels. Mm -hmm. Again, we're talking with uh, Megan Chertel, uh, Mary Ellen Eccles, and a couple of the uh, actors from Willy Wonka, which will be appearing at uh, Lyman Hall High School in the Wongrid on August 11th, 12th, and 13th. That's Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Uh, tickets are $10 for children. $15 for the adults. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh -huh. performance night. Yes. Let's pretend it's Thursday night, August 11th. Okay. Oh. The curtain goes up in four hours. What is Mary Ellen Eccles' nerve level at that point? <laughs> Are you a wreck? Are you... No, um, I'm not a wreck. I'm excited, very excited. Um, we all work very hard all summer long. So by the time we get to the performance, everybody's nervous. There's butterflies, you know, you, that's not, you want that. It makes for a better performance. But no, um, the work's been done. Now it's, I, I say this to them every year when we're sitting in the auditorium at dress rehearsal. You've worked so hard, now it's time to have fun. Celebrate what you've all been doing. So it's kind of like an athletic coach. You yeah. say you've trained hard, it's game time, go out yeah. and have fun. I do so. have, it seems like every show, I, I don't know that I had it so much this year, um, but very often I always kid with everybody on the staff and in the cast that there will be that night when like two o'clock in the morning or something, I'll, I'll wake up like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking? And, and I said, what made me think I could do this? You know, and I always felt like God led me to create this and, and, and you know, it's, it, he always says, you're not. I am. I'm letting you help me. You know, so <laughs> that kind of you go. Oh, phew. That's good. You know, but and you, you have to keep things in perspective. And make it say, same thing as the choreographer. The the day of the. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, back, backstage is usually fun four hours before because I'm finally, um, really the second the second week in August that Monday. That's when I'm seeing my crew of dads who are going to be the staples for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And the night before, that's when we're saying, wait, so-and-so's not going to be here this night, so-and-so's going to be here this night. So it's great, <laughs> it's great to see... Who's uh, going to move the house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great to see that, you know, kind of, it's really kind of talking with the dads and saying, 
Okay, so let's make sure, you know, we're all on the same page, we're all gonna be moving, you know, this, and we're really going over our, our schematics, yeah. um, because that's that's where the, the real choreography comes <laughs> in. Moving sets and not taking out any children. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's, so, I mean, you have a little bit of those, of those nerves that, oh, you know, I hope we don't mess this up, and, but it's, it's really just a lot of fun, just kind of yeah. touching base, and, and we do have a, a great a great crew of guys that have been with us for you know so long, yeah. and it's it's great to have them backstage. I, I I do remember, and and I don't remember this this young lady's name, but she was one of the dancers in Happy Days, and she took a header on stage like four days, but was in a cast, yes, and came out. And, She's amazing, and, and she nailed it. And, and I yeah. came out. <laughs> yes, oh, she God. did. What a trooper! <laughs> and she is going to be also in addition to her roles on stage will be helping this year. She's an intern in training. Oh, is she? Okay. She's, she's a wonderful, wonderful young woman. And um, she'll be helping with the stage management as well. Nice. So she'll, she'll be training, you know, as she, yeah. as she goes. So by the time she graduates, Megan will have some right and left hands there. Yep. Good. Good. Again, we're talking about uh, Willy Wonka to be held at Lyman Hall High School on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, August 11th and 12th and 13th. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. $15 for adults, uh, $10 for children. Let me ask the young actors at the end of the stage here. So, what's the toughest part? I'll start with you, Max. The toughest part of getting ready for uh, Willy Wonka. I, I don't really have a tough time getting ready for it. Sometimes I just think everything's gonna go okay, think happy thoughts, Think positive, like what you say a lot of times <laughs> in the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everything kind of goes my way. Good. And Max is a very hardworking, disciplined actor. That's a big piece of why he feels prepared, too. He works hard. Yep. Good. And Megan? Um, the hardest part for me is definitely performing the songs, because I'm a dancer and an actor, and I know that for sure, but I'm very um, self-conscious with my singing. But as that's just me, but as a whole for the whole group, the hardest part I think is keeping up the energy because it's such like a happy play and you just got to keep the energy up and that's one of the hardest things. Now I know it's, how old are you? 15. 10. Ten. Soon to be 11. Soon to be 11. Oh, yes. Hi, right. <laughs> um, Dad. Is it too soon to ask if uh, you're thinking about maybe making this uh, as a career or something would you like to pursue once you get into your formative years, whenever that is? <laughs> uh, I well, I'm thinking of pursuing my acting and like bringing it out to like Broadway or like Disney, like those TV shows for the like, kids. Meg? Um, I definitely know that I want to do something with acting. I don't know that I'll go to like Broadway or be on TV, but like like what Ms. Eccles does, like directing or teaching is really what I want to do. Nothing like too, too major, because I do love acting, but I don't think I'll ever do too, too much with it. Okay, okay. And, and do you guys have a favorite movie or a play, or is there a role? I'll ask the <laughs> movie first, and then is there, do you have a dream role? If you saw some role either in the theater or on film or even television that <laughs> I want to, okay. I'd love so to nail that. Basically. My dream role was to be Baruch Gasol in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But um, it's actually kind of funny because I was like so determined to become Baruch Gasol and then I found out it was Charlie. And it honestly just made things so much better and I didn't realize how much I wanted to be Charlie because I think seeing it as a male actor, I never thought that I could be Charlie. And it's kind of weird to see that I'm in the play that I dreamed of being in, so, yeah. yeah. You have such a beautiful light energy. <laughs> I, I couldn't see you as Veruca, but she's the perfect Charlie. She's, she's beautiful. Yeah, some Charlie. of the, uh, no offense. Uh, it's fine. But, but some, of the, some of those kids are nasty. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they Definitely. Are. And you know, yes. the funny thing is, um, the three kids who play the, the violet, the Mike TV, Augustus, Gloob, and you know, um, who am I forgetting? Violet, Violet yeah. 
They are four of the nicest kids you would ever, yeah. <laughs> beautifully mannered. That was probably one of our hardest challenges directing and working with them was, I kept saying, you're not Max, you have to be Mike TV. Forget how good you are. You have to be, you know. They had to kind of become that alter ego, you know, that they could never be in real life, you know, never wanted to be in real life. One night in rehearsal, I remember I had, I had said to Megan that, uh, Julie, who plays who plays well, and I, yes. I, I said to Megan, I said, you know, I really don't like her. And then I stopped and said, no, in real life I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean so um, Julie, uh, Julia and Veruca or, or Erica and uh, Violet? Uh, Veruca. Veruca. Julia yeah. Tangari. Julia. Yes, yes. yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. doing a great job. They're yeah. all doing a great job. Yeah. They yeah. are. Um, I should ask you that question. Do you, do you, do you have a favorite movie? Oh, did you give me your favorite movie? Or? Yeah. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> did you? No. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do we have a dream role? You know that new play, Hamilton? The play about yeah. Alexander oh, Hamilton? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I dream of coming Alexander Hamilton if they keep that show long enough for me to be able Could to be do that. Could be another Phantom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and can I ask uh, Megan and Mary Ellen the same questions? Is there a... Uh, my, my dream role would be the stage manager in Our Town. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and why is that? Uh, my mom was a language arts teacher at Lyman Hall High School, so I have always, every fall, she would read that uh, that oh. play. And one of one of the iconic lines that really I think about more more than anything is when Emily asks the stage manager, you know, do any of us really understand, you know, life or the meaning of life, the gist of it? And the stage manager responds, well. You know, maybe the poets do. And I, as a language arts major, I've just, it's a play that's just resonated with me, and I think it resonates with any town, but really especially Wallingford. It's yeah. very, very New England, very close-knit ties, so. Doesn't it seem, when you read it in high school, that it was written about Wallingford? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and mm. your dream role. Gee, I've had some great roles. I've been on the stage since I was three. I don't... Hmm. Maybe Mame. I haven't done Mame yet. Oh, okay. I was supposed to, and then I couldn't do it. Uh, maybe Mame. Right. Maybe Mame. Yeah. I could do now, that. if someone, and we're hoping everybody goes to Willy Wonka, but if somebody goes to the to the play and says, "I want to get involved next year," yes. or "I want to maybe take a shot at the yes. repertory division," how would they go about that? Well, we have a Facebook page um, that's very active, and that's a great way. We also have um, an email address. It's Wallingford, W-L-F-D, the abbreviation, um, C-O-M-M, -M, and then theater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E, -E, all one word, at att.net. That's another way to reach us. And we have a website, Wallingford Center for the Arts, dot org. Um, all of those ways are good ways to reach all us. Right. Very good. We have got about one minute left. Let's give it one more plug. Willy Wonka. By the way, it's Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka, right? Not John, Johnny Depp? Well, it's the stage play of oh, it. Right. Willy Wonka, Lyman Hall High School, August 11th, 12th, and 13th. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Uh, $10 for children, $15 for adults. Uh, please join us. You'll, uh, you'll have a good time. And Mary Ellen, thank you. This, is, thank this you. has been a hoot. It's been fun. Thank Let's you. Let's make so a much. date and do it again next year. All right. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you for watching and have yourself a good night.